Um, hello, this is a recording of my building generator, which I made in Houdini following a tutorial made by Simon on YouTube. I did give my own twist here and there, things that work better for me that way, so it's not really an exact copy. And I'm definitely gonna continue building on this, but I'm just gonna show what it does for now. Uh, as you can see here, it's kind of a Lego brick building. Uh, blue is the door, green are windows, red are walls, and purple is the roof, of course, and you have some balconies on there. You have some props outside of the building, like trash cans surrounding it, or piles of boxes that will be there. Um, and over on this side, we have the controller, which lets me uh, change a lot of things like the number of floors, I can make it a small building or really tall to 10 right now, but I can also just make it, I don't know, 20, doesn't really matter, it still generates the way I told it to. So let's just keep it at 3 for now. Um, we also have a shape seed, which I linked to the frame on Houdini. So I can just move the frames, and as you can see, the roof does not always work out, but the geometry of the building itself does work, except sometimes you get a hole, which I haven't figured out why, but um, that's how far I got right now. Uh, let's pick a fun one here, this one. Um, you also have the percentage of balconies, how many balconies there are on the windows. Um, you can also change the percentage of windows on the building. You can have no windows at all, or just completely windows. Um, you also have an amount of doors on the building. Right now it's just one door, but I can also uh, put in uh, six doors. And now there are six doors spread out over the bottom floor of the building. Um, the corners here, they have an offset which you can change, so it fits with your mesh. Right now I don't have a mesh yet, I just use these blocks and uh, this works. I also have different roof styles, you can have a sh sloped roof, right now it's not sloped, it's just blocks with a plane on top. But you can also just have a plane on top of your roof and have a flat roof, or you can have a fence around your roof, like a high building would have, so people don't fall off. Um, to make sure it fits with your mesh, you can also uh, change the offset of the plane on the roof and also the height, just uh, so you can always make sure it fits. Um, I also have these props around and you can give them an offset depending on their size or if you want them really close to the building or more away from it, you can uh, make sure it's not on the street or uh, inside your building. Um, I also have a, the way that it generates. This is an L system and you can change the size of it so you can make bigger buildings but that pretty much instantly breaks the roof. Smaller does work better but yeah. Uh, for now 8 has been the most the best results. Yes. Uh, I can change the generation basis, basis from L systems to a grid so you can just have a square or rectangular building, it's really easy and this one does not break the roof as you can see, uh, everything else still works, like you can change the roof style, it's still uh, functional everything, and you can just change the size uh, to what you want, and I can also do it according to a curve, and you just fill in the coordinates, but that also doesn't really work yet. But I'm probably gonna make this in user input curve, so you can use in Unity and then just uh, draw your own curve and make a building out of that, but as you can see it just places the points and then you get towers on those spots, which is not really what you want, but if it does work then it would be great, you can just draw a building. For now it's just towers. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see here, it's uh, it's a lot of nodes that all work together and uh, they're all combined here. 
We are having a controller with all the parameters. Parameters, parameters, same thing. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and um, yeah.